In this example, we're going to review the process that the Wasatch internal medicine providers can use with regards to their patient data, which has been migrated from Centricity into eClinical Works. As part of the migration, we brought over the problem list and have placed it in eClinical Works in the right chart panel seen here. We have also migrated the active medication seen here. However, when they're migrated into eClinical Works, they may not initially be considered by the eClinical Works system as an active medication. Also, the medications are not currently associated with a particular diagnosis because eClinical Works doesn't know which medication is associated. This video is to review the process to make sure that all the medications are available as active medications and associate them with the correct diagnosis. As you'll see in this chart window, this patient is currently taking these medications. The medications are also available over in the right chart panel as you scroll down. You can see the same ones listed here and the patient is listed as taking them. Over in the progress note, I'm going to click on current medication. In this example, you can see that this patient already has the taking status marked. If, however, you open this and none of these are marked with any status, for the first visit in eClinical Works, I would recommend that you mark them all as taking. If they're not actually taking them, you can go adjust them later. This is done most easily by checking the T above the column, which will check all of them as taking. If, in some cases, you may notice that the medications aren't listed here, you may need to go to the Past Rx History tab, and when you click this tab, it will bring up the prior visits and the associated medications in this case. We can click the plus to expand it. If there's another one farther back, we can click the plus to expand this one as well. If you open the medication list and you see that no medications are on the current medication tab and you go to the past history, then you will need to click this T for taking for each of the medications and this will then make them active. Unfortunately, if you have to do it this way, you have to click each one individually. Back on the current medication tab, you can see that they are now all listed as taking. And we can close the window and these are available as active medications to prescribe going forward. However, we now have to associate them with the appropriate diagnosis. In this case, and this will only be for the first time that the Wasatch Internal Medicine providers see their patients in eClinical Works, we recommend that for that progress note, you actually bring all of their diagnoses over. I appreciate that that might be quite an extensive list in some cases. This can either be done by clicking the left pointing arrow to bring each diagnosis over. You might choose to do this if you know that there are some old problems on here that you aren't going to assess or prescribe a medication for today. On the other hand, you can click this blue left pointing arrow here and that will bring all of them over into the assessments. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to make the assessment part of the note visible. Click the leftward pointing arrow and it refreshes and you can see all of the problem list here is now in today's assessment. Now, let us suppose that we want to refill all of the medications that the patient was taking when we last saw them in centricity. Now that the assessments are available, we can go ahead and prescribe each of these. In the future, you can use these buttons for CRS, which means continue, refill, or stop. With the exception of stop, I wouldn't recommend you use the continue or the refill because they are still not associated with the correct uh, assessment. To associate this, once you have brought all of the assessments into the list, click the treatment window. And now the treatment window appears. Notice this button called Current Rx. If it is grayed out rather than black, then you can't click on it. If this is the case, you need to go back to the medication summary up in the top part of the progress note and mark them all taking like I demonstrated earlier. Also notice that all of the diagnoses are here in tabs across the uh, top. And if there are several, 
they are going to be listed down the side and you'll need to click these different arrows to scroll between them. I'm now going to prescribe all of the medications that this patient is taking. So let's start by clicking Current Rx. And you can see the medication manage order screen appears. Here are all the medications. Notice in this case we have all the diagnoses here as well. These are taken from the note and this is why I recommended that you import all of the notes, uh, sorry, all of the assessments into the note for today. First of all, for the Losartan, let's go ahead and prescribe that. I'm assuming that that is going to be for their hypertension, which is right here. Click the diagnosis first, and now I'm going to click refill on the Losartan. Next is the multivitamins. You can pick whatever diagnosis you want to associate it with. I'm just going to leave it um, on the hypertension as well. I'm going to click refill here. Notice as I do this, it's associating these medications with essential hypertension. Now we need to prescribe Cialis. In this case, I don't see a diagnosis of erectile dysfunction, so I'm going to go add it by clicking add. And once I start searching for it, I can see it here. I can click erectile dysfunction, click OK, and it is now added to the list. I'm going to select that diagnosis and I'm going to prescribe the Cialis. Now for their vitamin D, I'm going to associate that with the osteoporosis and click refill. For the coenzyme Q10, I'm going to, in this case, associate with dyslipidemia and refill that and the Zocor and finally the aspirin. For now I'm going to leave that associated with the dyslipidemia and I'm going to refill that. We've now gone through all of the medications that this patient is taking and associated them with the correct assessment. As we were creating this, you can see here down at the bottom that the different assessments have the different medications associated with them all set to refill. I'm going to click OK and drop back to the treatment window because there's one more thing we need to fix. We can click OK. You'll get an interaction warning which you can evaluate and close once you've done that. And we're now back at the treatment window. Notice that for some of the diagnoses I don't have any associated medication so I'm just going to click over until I find one that has an associated medication. So here we have the Losartan and the multivitamin. We have the strength and we have the tablets and we have the SIG. However, the number of medications, the refills, and the quantity are not here and they need to be inserted or else you cannot electronically prescribe this. Again, you'll have to do this for the first time on new patients that you're seeing in eClinical Works. So I'm going to click on, in this case, Losartan and it's going to open up the medication prescription window. I have the milligrams, the formulation, the instructions. In this case, we'd recommend in the take section, you simply change it to say one tablet orally once a day, although you could type in different instructions if needed. We need to have a dose, sorry, a duration dispense and refill. And to add in here, because of these colored boxes, you can't free text into these. You have to use the drop down. So I'm going to select 30 days most of the time it will automatically calculate 30 uh, based on the instructions that I have and then the number of refills. I would suggest here that you write the number of refills and the duration and quantity like you would normally prescribe this. For example, if you write Losartan typically with 30 pills and 5 refills, this is the time to do it. If you typically write Losartan with 90 pills and 3 refills for a total of a one-year supply, this is also the time to do it. In this case, I'm going to say that 30 pills and five refills is my typical way of writing Losartan. Now I'm ready to prescribe this. However, this is also the time that I'm going to add Losartan 50 milligrams as a favorite medication so that I can quickly prescribe this dose in the future without going through this whole process we just did. I'm going to click add as favorite. The favorite box appears. I can confirm that this has the information that I need and I'm going to click OK. It's now added as a favorite. Remember that we still have to apply it for this patient today, so I'm going to click Apply. 
And now notice the Los Sartan has all of the instructions. This is now ready to print, fax, or electronically prescribe. I'm going to skip the multivitamin for now, but we'll go to one more. Let's go to the vitamin D. Again, notice the amount is in here, but it's not a complete prescription. I can see the take instructions, and again, the instructions you see in here were migrated from the centricity instructions. In this case, I'm just going to change it to a tablet, orally, once a day. I'm going to write it for 30 days. It calculates 30 tablets, and I'm going to put five refills again, as is my practice. And if this is the way that I typically vi write vitamin D, 2,000 units, I'm going to take the time right now to add this as a favorite, and then it's there forevermore. Add as a favorite. It looks fine. I click OK, and now I've made the favorite. Remember, I still have to apply it so it works on this patient. And now you can see this is a complete prescription. The authorization AWP numbers don't need to be in there, so don't worry about them. Let's do one last one. We'll go to dyslipidemia, and we will correct their Zocor. Again, the SIG is here one in the evening, so I'm just going to take the one here, although I could free text it orally once a day. Let's suppose that I normally do Zocor for 90 days, so I'm going to write the 90 here, and I'm going to put three refills. And if that's my typical way of writing Zocor 40, I'm going to add this as a favorite. It's now ready to add as a favorite. This is the way I want it. I click OK. Now bear in mind, if you are wanting to quickly make a bunch of favorites for one medication, this is the time to do it. We just made one for Zocor 40. Let's quickly make one for Zocor 20. I'm going to change the dose, put exactly the same instructions here. I'm going to add it as a favorite. And now I have a Zocor 20 shortcut. Let's do one more and make a Zocor 10 shortcut. And now I quickly have made three favorites for my most common dosage and SIG of Zocor. Now before I apply this, bear in mind that I changed this from what the patient was taking initially while I was making the shortcuts. So be sure you change it back to your intended prescription, hit apply, and we now see this is a complete prescription for Zocor. Now again, you'd have to go back and do this for the rest of them, uh, which I admit is going to be time consuming the first time you're seeing these new patients, but once it's in there, it's correctly associated with your exact SIG and refill. I'm going to close the treatment window, and it should drop us back to the progress note. Notice now that we can see what I've prescribed for the hypertension, the Losartan, with complete prescription, osteoporosis, complete vitamin D prescription, and the Zocor. Notice the others are not completed because I didn't go in and correct them, but that would be the process. This is worth doing because the next time I see this patient and I need to refill these, these are already associated and I can quickly hit the refill button and I'm done. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to see the best way to make sure your eccentricity medications are now active. Any clinical works for each of your patients as well as associate the correct medications with the correct assessments and at the same time quickly make a bunch of favorites so that you can get favorites for all of your popular medications in the SIGs uh, and quantities that you want.